Taxi Auto, is an application developed by Alessandro Tagliati. It provides mirroring, and phone notifications, in LG LAN 5020 head units, installed in European 2015 to 2017 Hyundai Tucson, 2016 Kia Sportage, Vera, and Sorento. Install process is usually done by hand, exiting from Hyundai Kia software. Thanks to Taxi Auto, you can receive, view, and answer to message notifications, from SMS, WhatsApp, Telegram, Gmail, and have your apps on the display of your car head unit, mirror your smartphone, and get on board computer information's BiobD2 Bluetooth scanning. However, because Taxi Auto depends on Wi-Fi connection, and smartphone hotspot capabilities, a lot of phones don't perform as expected. Sometimes, the delay between smartphone and car display, makes it unfeasible to use. The following test, was performed with a Xiaomi Redmi 4, in which a customized firmware was installed, in order to use all the functions that Taxi makes available. As you can see, in the most demanding applications, the lag increases or they freeze during few seconds. I am going to show you an alternative way of tether your smartphone, and replace Android hotspot as well as increase Wi-Fi range. You can easily tether your phone to a router, and connect your car head unit, to the Wi-Fi router. What are the benefits of tethering your Android phone, to a router? Mobile default Wi-Fi hotspot, is limited to few settings and range is very low, compared to dedicated router. Once Android phone is tethered to wireless router, you get many ways, to customize Wi-Fi signal strength, SIT broadcast, channel frequency and many more, obviously, to get best possible Wi-Fi range. Another big plus point is, mobile starts charging battery once it's connected to router via USB cable. You need the following components. Android phone, a data cable and Wi-Fi mini router like, TP-Link MR3020. First, you need to update your router current firmware with Golden Orb. This will help you, to tether Android to router. Download Golden Orb firmware, and follow installation and setting guides from this website. When the router is ready, with the necessary adjustments for USB tethering, connect router power supply, to dashboard USB port. 
connect USB data cable to router and plug in micro USB end into Android phone. Click on settings in wireless and networks, select more and open tethering and portable hotspot. For taxi to work, it is necessary to select both portable Wi-Fi hotspot and USB tethering. In your car head unit, connect to Wi-Fi router. Choose router sit instead of Android hotspot. Verify if your phone Bluetooth connection is configured. Open Taxi Auto Phone application, and follow Taxi website instructions to connect your phone. Don't forget to set all permissions on. Pay attention, you do not need to select, use external access point. When everything will work your screen might appear like this. At this point, Taxi icon appearing in head unit screen, turns blue. Although a slight delay is still noticed, the connection has undergone substantial improvement. The quality of the mirroring was overall pretty good, guaranteed to be superior to what this video, recorded under non-ideal conditions, was unable to show. Try it yourself.